Hey everybody, it's Missy with the Bella Boulevard Creative Team, and I'm back today with a new layout. Our focus this week is the Bella Boulevard stamps, and a lot of the newer collections and uh, a lot of the new Illustrated Faith collections have some really awesome stamps. And so I thought I would use these Illustrated Faith Homespun Alpha stamps to create a really fun background. And I'm going to use a lot of the Seeds of Faith collection. That is one of the newer collections. And so I just have a scrap piece of white cardstock here. And I've already got my title picked out. It's a quote. And I want one word to be bigger than the rest. And so I went ahead and typed it out in my silhouette software in a scripty type font and I blew it up really big and I went ahead and cut it out on the birds of a feather paper. It's a really pretty pinkish red color. So I'm going to take the time and stamp each of these letters one by one and I want these to be kind of messy and watercolory and so that's what I'm going to use. Instead of using ink pads to where the letters would be perfect around the edges, I decide to use some ink. And so they're gonna kind of bleed and look a little runny and messy. And I think it turns out really cool. So this is an option that you could do with stamps if you want to have, um, you know, a different look because these clearly look totally different than, like I said, using an ink pad. But this was fun to do. And my quote is just something I found on Pinterest. I really liked it and it's, you are capable of amazing things and so I thought that was really fun and uh, I'm gonna use a picture of my daughter that I'll show later when I get to that part but I'm trying to use the ink colors that match the collection and sometimes like when I mixed the first green it was too green and so I stamped another U in a different green and I keep bringing that sheet back so I can make sure I've got my colors right and so I stamp a couple of the letters more than once because I may have gotten too much water on it or it bled too much or it wasn't the right color. And so this is kind of just like a scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna wind up cutting all of these letters out one by one by hand. And so I want some of that really pretty soft pink, the light aqua blue, that lime green color, and then there's kind of an orangey peachy light pinkish color. I know that doesn't sound very technical, but uh, that's just how I describe it. And uh, so I'm just kind of stamping some of the letters down. And I think it's, you know, still you're able to read it. It's not so abstract that it doesn't look like an actual letter. And they do stand out a little more once I cut them out. So I'm not going to make you watch me do the entire title here, but um yeah, so they're all done now, and it looks like a bunch of random letters, but when I cut them out, they will spell the title, and so that's what I'm going to do here. Everything's dry, and I try to, you know, go around each letter very carefully and get all of the little nooks and crannies that the ink created because they're all kind of imperfect and, and wonky looking and crooked, and that's why I wanted to do this technique. And at this phase, I wasn't sure what I was going to use as my background, if I was going to use white cardstock or one of the other pattern papers. So I decided that the pink letters needed, I needed to pull in that reddish pink color. So I'm just using a red gelato on the pink letters and just dabbing a little bit of it on there and smudging it with my fingers. And so now it kind of pulls in that red color. And so I've got everything cut out, and I think this looks really cool, and I love this picture. It's one from a few years ago of my daughter, and she was just sitting around the pool, and I was just taking pictures of her, and she just looked adorable. And I love to make layouts with, you know, advice or quotes, things about them and their future, and things like that. So I decided to use a pattern paper as my background, and this is the Quiet Retreat paper. However, I wanted, I didn't want the quote on there. That's where I wanted to put the title and the quote that I'm going to use. And so I'm going to make a big mess of this paper and use some white acrylic paint. And I did add a little bit of gesso around the edges. And I just kind of faded out the quote that was already on there. And so now it just has this really pretty pink around the edges. And so the white is going to give me a lot of room to use the same inks and the same colors or the same watercolors that I did in stamping those letters. 
So I just kind of go in with the oranges and the peaches and I dried it with the heat gun. Now I'm going to come in with the teals. And a lot of this is going to get covered up. That's usually the case when you do a mixed media type background. Clearly you've got to put stuff on top of it. So um, it's going to just kind of peek through the title and around the picture once I get it all down there. And I love these colors together. I think the addition of the orangey peach color is just really pretty up against the pink. And I'm going to use the gelato again to add in some of that darker reddish pink color. And I'm using just some plastic packaging. It's one of my favorite go-to techniques for spreading watercolor or inks around the page because you get kind of a, you kind of can control what it looks like, but yet you kind of don't. Uh, it's going to give you a really cool splotchy look, totally different look than if you use a brush like I'm doing here. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything. I'm using some of the brush, some splattering, using my heat gun there. So it looks like a big splotchy mess, but I love those colors. I think it looks really pretty and it's almost dry. And so now I'm going to kind of start to work on building the layout. And I'm going to decide where I want to put all of those stamped letters. <clears throat> and I like the mix and match of the fonts. It's something really fun to do if you're going to use a big title like this as your main design element is to kind of mix and match the titles. You know, I, I felt like the word amazing was the most, the, the key word in the quote. And so I wanted it to stand out. So I made it the darkest color and I made it bigger and in a different font. So now that I've got everything organized, I'm going to kind of go back in with some splatters and make sure that you can see those colors coming out from behind everything. But I don't want the title to blend in to where you can't read it. And so that's the tricky part of doing something like this when you're using a lot of the same colors is to make sure that whatever's behind it allows it to stand out. So I'm going to take the time and add a little bit of glue to each letter. And so the title is glued down and I am going to run it through my sewing machine here momentarily. I'm going to add a little bit of tissue paper behind my photo just to give it a little messy, subtle border there. And then I'm going to pull in one of the little open heart stamps. And this is from the Delight in His Day collection. And I'm going to use black archival ink and just do some layering of these cute little hearts. And I'm doing it in three clusters around the page. And I wanted to situate my photo in the upper right region because she's looking down and toward the left. So it kind of looks like she's looking down and across the page. And I felt like I needed a little bit more orange up at the top so I add that in. And then I'm uh, going to add some tangled thread in pink and teal, I believe. And then I went through some of the paper pieces, which are the die cut packs from um, Delight, no, not Delight in His Day, Illustrated Faith Basics and Seeds of Faith. And I picked out a few butterflies and flowers and they match perfectly. I also pulled out the Clear Cuts pack from the Illustrated Faith Basics collection. And I'm going to cut out that cute little orange butterfly and then this pink flower here. I didn't really feel like this needed a whole lot of embellishing because the stamp title took up, you know, a, the bulk of the page and I didn't want a lot of clutter to distract from that. And so I just add a little bit of die cuts here onto the photo because I've got a lot of white space over on the left of the picture. And so I'm going to add a butterfly and a flower and then the same thing over to the right. And then a little cluster down at the bottom as well. And I just wanted this to be a very light and girly, you know, florals and butterflies type page. Um, some of my favorite things to use. Now here's where I did some stitching before I glued the picture down. I used a light pink thread and I just went through each line of letters. And that just adds a fun little detail and also makes sure that they're not going anywhere. And I want my photo to be kind of tilted. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that glued down.
I'm going to add in a little bit more thread. I think I added the, the peachy orange color to the right and the pink thread to the left. And then I'm going to add a little bit of teal. If you notice down on the bottom right cluster, there's no teal, anything there. And so the tangled thread takes care of that. So I'm going to pull in one more stamp set. And this is the icons from Illustrated Faith. And, you know, a lot of these products are meant for Bible journaling, things like that. But I totally think it's perfect for a layout as well. And this is a little arrow and it says, remember this. And I'm just going to hand write in the date right there at the bottom. And then I add a couple of lines and just a little bit of journaling. I think the title says a lot, but I did add a little bit of personal journaling down there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is come in with some slate gray, dark gray thread, not thread, <laughs> A spray ink to pull in from the uh, colors in the picture but that's the final layout I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it inspires you to use your stamps because there are a ton of awesome stamps in all the collections of uh, Bella Boulevard recently so make sure you check those out uh, they're perfect for cards perfect for layouts anything really and clearly you can make an entire title out of those stamps so and there's also some numbers so if you like numbers there's some numbers as well so Make sure you check out the Bella Boulevard blog and let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, anything at all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.